I figured I'd do my first video. So I'm gonna be acting to the dad's food and he wants to put up as this update for PTB mid chap well no not PTB mid chapter patch is good. The state of this dead by daylight mid chapter update is that it has made the game really freaking good. Hello friends, welcome in. I'm so I, I can I can kind of get it. Dust food, and today I want to walk through all of the changes made in the latest mid chapter and talk about why the game feels so good okay. to play now, so healthy, and why I am actually having a lot of fun. I felt like this was gonna make the whole game die. The game in this moment. Now I had said back when we first talked about this coming, you know, mid chapter. I had said, hey, here's here are my thoughts on it. They're generally positive. A couple of things I'm worried about, but what I have to give behavior credit on is. Generally speaking, they listened, and I just, I'm going to go through this. Oh, so they changed it. Okay. I didn't even know that. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to talk about what I have noticed. I'll try to have some background footage to you know, show you that I have been doing these things. Because what I generally mm -hmm. tried to do is I started doing things like burning the Azeroth map offerings. And all that okay, stuff. yeah. The rework. They got changed. Um... Azeroth is more, you know, Azeroth has a car loose, now has spaces, and Waterwatch has um, been more rebalanced. Perhaps I tried using the perks that have been reworked. So far, so good. So far, yep. I am really loving The only one I don't like, well, I really don't like, is called Ryan because I feel like they took the nerf too far. Redder had it 175 at tier 3, or 50 at tier 2. 125 at tier 1. That's all I'm saying. And now it's pretty much over. A lot of these changes. And I think I'll start with the maps. I think I'll start with the maps yep. and I'll say that it's a limited sample size. I, I realize that it's yep. a limited sample size, but both Blood Lodge and Gas Heaven feel much better than before. Yes. Now, and also, as a killer main myself, and you know, Sir Roger Main. Um. Mostly Survivor, though. I do have to say something here. It, it helped me because I have a hard time here in Terra Radiuses. I want to bring this up as a really hard, uh, well, really pointless on that day. Really pointless part about it. Well, what he's not talking about has, I don't have that good of hearing for it, so the visual heartbeats will help. I'm just completely off topic. But also the healing nerf and this just oh, nerf If there is one area work. that I have always been actually yes. kind of negative And also even in, when I'm playing killer, the buses... One good. area that I say they don't know what they're doing, and they really never have, it's map design. So for me to come out and say that these maps feel good, it's unreal. It's unreal. Yes. Behavior never had a good history of map designs to me. Unreal, honest. because they've been on such a consistent... Because it's either they look good, but they're so um, happy to play on, you don't like to play on them. Like RPD, Midwitch. But then there's the ones that you like, like Cold Tower, that just don't look good. Make up L's with the maps. I mean, really bad stuff. Garden of Joy. Yes. Terrible. Broken. Bad arms. The Borgo. That, um, um, eerie you have Haddonfield, old one especially, you have um, RPD, the game, yeah. Large. Those are just the names A lot of people hate the filter that they put over it. Red Forest rework. Yes. Somehow worse than it was before. I think I'm just going to have to make a rant video on that at some point <laughs> because I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how you took debatably the worst map and made it worse, but they did it. But then they did this. <laughs> they reworked Blood Lodge and Gas Heaven. And honestly, I like it. I think it's good. I think the reworks are solid. Having the yes, main building. Yes, definitely. I really like the separation. Towards the center of the map is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It takes some of the safety away, especially on, the, on Gas Heaven, from working inside the gas station. 
and that's kind of nice because it used to be that if a killer wanted to go check on that, you know, they had to kind of go out of their way. And while I realize that's unfortunate because that means killers like Nurse also have an easier time, the answer here yes. is just to nerf the nurse, right? That needs to be. You're answer. right. If, uh, watch me like next next update. Nurse, three point six killer. Uh, her one blank is only her chain building. <laughs> It still breaks them a bit, but it would be that's very a, that's bad. A for, another time. for most, I think that these reworks are going to be rather good. Now, again, I'm like, you yeah. know, I'm a clown thing, so who knows? Maybe, maybe I have a biased perspective. I'm like, oh, I can, I can keep chases going, and I can kind of juggle survivors. Yeah. And you know, let's talk about that. Let's talk about juggling survivors. So, one thing that people have gotten really tired of okay. was this Jin slowdown meta. It was yes, basically... it made Jen's bot put to do. <laughs> and there's also the Jen rush meta, what survivors came up with, and then Killer came up after to combat it. Where all Jens, it was either no Jens get done at all until t- until two hours because because all two hours were is like the map end trial or. You know, it's just, oh, gents get done and executes are open in three minutes. Meta where they were going to do everything they could to make sure that you did not pop gens. Yes. And it was more about protecting the gens than actually getting in a chase. And what it led to yep. was a lot of three gen scenarios. And I, I don't gens. know that there's anyone out there who looks at the three gen scenarios and says, yep, that's fun. That's good. No. I love this. Three gens, 30 minute games. Yeah. Hell yeah. Love it. 40 minute games great i mean nope. it's great because the blood points caps so i'm not going to earn any more and it's not like it, it's not like i'm getting super exciting chases out of it because why would i want those they were miserable right we hated those yep. games i, I think overwhelming it was one of the worst times in dvd history uh, history i feel like it was almost as bad when like artists and all these other places came the majority hated those so behavior did a really good job of trying to change I'm gonna, that i'm gonna stop at the 15 mark of this video being done, that way I can keep this nice and simple around the 15 mark. That will make a sequel. One way that they did to. that was through a Maybe rework not. of healing. So I mentioned like juggling survivors. The hit and run playstyle is back, baby. It's back, and I'm happy to see it back because it's healthy for the game. It's healthy for both sides. Rather than just hold a tight three gen, which they still can try to do, obviously, and some killers like Skull Merchant and Knight, and, and even uh, the mentioned oh, the aforementioned Nurse, right? Yeah, they're still going to be able to hold three gens pretty well. Yep. That's true, but not nearly as well because yep. they can they can be rewarded for. Bounty. And honestly, some of them I feel like they went way too far, especially Pain Rush. And I do get that it was the best perk, really. But here's the problem: you needed to actually work for it. Else there was a little bit of luck, not too much, but RNG was definitely in there. Around for also, you weren't going to get every time, unless right? you've got a cool. massive chain. Of course, but then, it was basically borderline unbreakable. Be protected so well was like, the like Jens were almost un- like you couldn't. Especially but if they did Call of Brian overcharge and Skirt took pain resonance, could. they could keep those Jens regressing at just an alarming rate. And again, they could drag the game out forever. Yes. So what did Behavior do? Behavior took those three perks that I just mentioned, and again, to reuse a phrase, they nuked them from orbit. Now, there is a sad side to it where we have three perks that are just... I'm going to say two of them are not useful anymore. Call of Brian and Overcharge are dead. Yep. Dead as a doornail. They're dead. However, I think the, uh, the news of Pain Rez's demise yes. may have been greatly exaggerated. Pain Rez is still a decent perk. Yes. It requires more careful consideration because, you know, the way it was, yep. whenever you down somebody, you pick them up and you just... But I never felt like... That was it was kind of like the pop meta. We still got to work for it, and that's what I liked about that meta. You got to realize, have I hooked this person on a skirt hook before, and is it a good time to use the skirt hook? Which, generally speaking, I, I just kind of go for it. I don't have that kind of planning, but I think good players are going to get a lot more value out of it now. And I think that's a very healthy design philosophy. I think it's healthy to make it, it to where good like players was, get rewarded yes. for playing well. I, I think that's natural. So, really good changes all around there. Um, and also Gearhead. Gearhead got a pretty yeah, massive... Yeah, um, I remember, I think it was Twonky, how you spelled Tony, where he said that Gearhead might be a new meta. 
Especially for something like say, Unreal. I only used Gearhead for one game. But I loved it. I love having this information on where the survivors are. But yes, and again, you do need you get skill this information by playing the game. You hit a survivor, and then the things. next time somebody's hitting yeah, a good skill check, you're gonna know, generally speaking, where they are. Of course, you have to balance that with the chase that you're in, but yeah. again, it gives you that ability to juggle a little bit. To hit one, see somebody else on a gen, and say, hey, well, if I leave the person I just hit, they'll probably go heal. And I can go attack this person on the generator. That's kind of two birds with one stone. Good stuff. Hey. I'm going to stop this at 14 minute. Actually, depending on... Or I want to cap out... Gives the minutes, survivor please. who's been injured the chance to make a decision. Do you waste the time healing? Or do you go work on a gen? Especially if you have you know, a perk that's going to help you because you're injured. Over. If you guys do want to see something, I would actually. And I'm kind of consider this. Actually, I will. I'm think, kind of thinking about making a second channel for Roblox stuff, that way I can get a kid audience too, therefore I can have other people watching it, so yeah. Overall, it's just a really uh, cool little mind game that has been introduced, and I think it's extremely healthy for the game. And while yeah. on the subject of health, let's talk about the survivor perk changes and the general healing rework entirely. So we'll start with the perk changes. Uh, Circle of Healing, it's still yes. strong, it's still yes. really good. Yes, yes, yes. So, Circle of Healing was um, a very bad perk. I mean, no, very good perk, where it basically countered Killer's like Wraith. You could basically just heal yourself, and now, now you need a med kit. Now we're just healing it It's healthier now, it's better. You know, yep. it's not... I still think it's kind of gross, but it's not nearly yes. as gross as it was. Yes, yes. So, for the time being, I'm going to put up with it and yeah. kind of see how it plays yeah. out. Overzealous, it got a buff, nothing major. It's oh, still yeah. a decent, but not great perk. So, you know, mm -hmm. nothing too I major really there, like but uh, there's the potential to get more value out of it. So, I do like yeah. that. And then there's Probably. Dead Hard, which, my goodness, I, <laughs> I, I've played probably like 15 killer games or so, and if I've seen a Dead Hard, they didn't use it. So, yeah. I gotta say, I love this new Sprint Burst meta. I love seeing yes. life. I love all this. This is so much better. It's much this better because so much I feel better. like Dead Hard has I... just been on top of it for the whole time that it's been out. Where it looks like it's just been Dead Hard as the best exhaustion perk ever. There was a time when it was um, Valence Land, but it was the end when Valence Land didn't have was an exhaustion perk for the first two levels and it had the chance to create infinite. Get to a survivor. I can hit them. I don't have to worry. Yep. That, oh no, uh, they push their invincibility button and they're going to be alright. Yep. No, it's great. It feels mm -hmm. so And good. even now, it, a lot of Dead Herd users would just not be altruistic. It was that bad. So great. Uh, Dead Hard is... And it, um, I remember Demi. Um, another YouTuber. Or do it with no mitter as a challenge with... Uh, no Mitter and Dead Hard, he did, uh, it was supposed to be No Mitter with, um, Ben Wolf Man, tried to get that value, yeah. Finally not the bane of my existence, and I think a lot of killer players can, uh, can kind of agree with that one, so that's just lovely. I like it. In regards to the healing rework, seem to I've seen some survivors just I also know really it's gonna... about it, really, really negative, and I think what this <laughs> is, is, and I'm sorry, because again, at this point, I play a lot more Survivor than Killer. I'm identifying more with the Survivor. I also remember, I feel like a lot of Dead Hard users are mad because they took so much time to go into that perk. Side of the aisle, but, uh, hmm. y'all, I gotta be honest, some of y'all, some of y'all are whining about this, and it's just ridiculous, because, no, you shouldn't have had med kits where you could heal yourself fully two to three times, depending on the add-ons and perks. No, and you shouldn't have been able to get self-heals that only took you eight seconds. That's ridiculous. No, you shouldn't be able to just pop the, uh, what is it, the syringe and keep a chase going yes. like it's nothing. It's ridiculous. Medkits yeah. were gross, and at this point, they're still solid, right? You that. still get to it's, give your... Um, you guys want me to? Because I remember I did see some, um, video for that. For TikTok, I saw a TikTok where it was that basically. So, disgusting. another health state. It's not that it's gone, it's just that it's weaker. And I think that is so profoundly healthy. I for like the it. Game. I cannot believe the amount of people. I, I saw some people saying, oh, I. Okay, I am tired of this. Um, 
So, bye. <laughs>